everyone. How are you guys tonight? You guys are live here on the Dixie Belle Paint Facebook and Instagram page. Um, my name is Brandy. I am with Brushed by Brandy, and I paint here live with you guys every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. Hey, can you turn that fan down for me? <laughs> Sorry. We put a fan on in the background because it's pretty warm today, but it's like a hurricane breeze coming at me, so... Um, oh. You guys, my husband Sean is here behind the camera um, to help answer any questions. As always, please pop on and feel free to ask away anything that you might have about the project I'm working on or something you're doing at home. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be painting tonight. And the project that I'm working on is actually, um, I'm going to make a set. I'm making a set of furniture. Uh, I have two nightstands and then actually it's a mismatched, mismatched dresser. They're not a natural set. But um, I'm going to put them together and putting the same finishes on mismatch um, pieces can make them look like a cohesive set, even when they weren't made to go together. When, when I post these, you guys will, will not recognize that they're not a fully matched set of furniture. Um, so these are the side tables that I'm working on. I actually have two of these, but we're only going to work on one tonight. And a couple things that I did, aside from color that I'm going to do to bring them together, is I'm going to stain the tops of these in as close as I can get to a matching wood stain. Um, these are a slightly lighter wood than the dresser is, but I'm going to try to get them as close as I possibly can. So that's going to tie them together. The colors on the body will tie them together. And then I actually added some um, moldings. These are just cast in resin. Um, I have videos on my YouTube channel how to do this if you guys are curious how to add your own appliques like this. Um, so I just cast a couple moldings and then I did the same thing for the dresser and little details like that are going to help bring them together. So um, the colors I'm going to use on these tonight are actually it's kind of funny because it's become like the most requested color that I get um, from my customers and it's this custom mix. You guys have seen me use it a few times. It is a custom mix of Dixie Belle paint in... You know, just real quick, sorry to interrupt you, but it's like you're riding on a motorcycle, but not riding the motor... Maybe like a sidecar. Do I have a Because you got your head? hair is... Yeah. Yeah. It's, it just happens. Well, sidecar yeah. Sally action, yeah. Okay, so this is the mix that I'm going to be using. And this color is a mix of Dixie Belle Antebellum Blue, Palmetto, Hey, FBJ. About 50-50 of antebellum and palmetto, and then a little bit of midnight sky to darken it. That is my custom mix, okay? And then I'm going to be using pure midnight sky um, as, to shadow it a little bit, and I'm actually going to mix a lighter color with you guys right <laughs> Malia's now. Malia's son. This is I how I know she is. The wind blowing through your hair is so Pam Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're pretty old. <laughs> so, <laughs> On Instagram, they're like, who's Pamela Anderson? <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is actually want to mix a lighter shade of my, of this is my custom mix. So I'm going to mix my custom mix, but I'm going to put it kind of here in the center of my nightstands to make a highlight. So I just need to mix a lighter shade of this. Um, I could do it on my nightstands, which I do sometimes, but in this case, I'm just going to show you how to mix a, cut, a, a shade of whatever color you want. So I'm going to take my custom mix. I'm just going to pour a little bit in this dish. And I'm going to use actually dried sage to lighten it. So I don't want it to be fully lightened by a white. A white is really stark. It will take your color down rapid fast. I just want to tint this a little bit lighter, just a shade lighter. So I'm actually going to just use a little bit of dried sage. And I'm going to mix it in this dish. And this is going to give me a shade of my existing color that's just a little bit lighter. And that's all the highlight is supposed to be. So this is one way that you, instead of putting a contrasting color in the center and trying to blend it out, you can mix it into a dish beforehand. Now a little bit more of my dried sage. I, If I'm mixing, I usually will mix less versus more. I can always add more. It's not as easy to take it back away. Susan came on and said, thank you for helping her with her mold. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. I'm glad Your you bestie got loved it. Thank you. I'm glad you got it. Oh, Susan. Um, Susan, were you making the, the American flag one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Amazing work. Amazing. I, I'm so glad you let me drool over that because I mean, the amount of detail in that, I hope you share that out in the groups, um, Susan, because 
it was really, really, really incredible. Like knowing the amount of work that goes into something like that, it was the work you did was amazing. Now, for anybody on the gram, <laughs> and it just shows some nobody's age. On the nobody's gram. on the yeah. gram. On the IG. <laughs> Where are they located? Any of these products? Okay, so um, once I well, let's see. Instagram is harder because you can't use links on Instagram. DixieBellPaint.com. DixieBellPaint.com. You can use everything. If you go to my profile on Instagram, which is Brushed by Brandy, click the link in my profile. It'll take you there. Got a link in, in my profile on Instagram. <clears throat> Um, Instagram's harder because they don't allow you to attach links. If you want a link for anything specific, you're always welcome to mes message me too, and I'm happy to give you guys a link for that. Um, in um, When I post these, I post it with my affiliate link, and that's because I earn a small percentage of sales from there. Um, and so I'm happy to always give you a link for anything. If you can't find it or you need help searching for something or you want a link that goes right there, I will give you one if you message me. Okay. So I'm going to start out and I'm just going to kind of work out my basic framework here. Let me tell you what prep I've got on these guys. I've cleaned them really well and I put two coats of Dixie Belle Boss in gray. Okay, I just put Boss on these because they were darker wood. Um, I don't want to take any chance of bleed through. Another reason I did it, I wasn't so much worried about the bleed through on the nightstands is I'm pretty sure the dresser is a bleeder. And I just wanted the base on these to match so that when the finish is done, they also match. I swear, every time you say bleeder, I want to reach for a band-aid. Yeah, well, you just bought a whole bunch of Costco. There you go, Fireball June, you guys have a Costco band-aid pack. That was pretty awesome. We grabbed one of those for summertime. <laughs> <laughs> we anticipate injuries. <laughs> yeah, we have three, three boys. We got those for we the have summer. three boys. Someone's getting hurt. Okay, I want to show you guys something here, and I will fix this. These are drawers that have the, the lip around them that overlaps the frame, okay? So what you're going to see me do is I'm going to build out my basic blend on these, and then I'm going to pull these drawers out, and I'm going to make sure my frame gets painted too. Because I know somebody's back there going, oh my gosh, like the frame's getting missed. No, actually, there's somebody, oh my gosh, Andrea, that says, haha, your shirt matches your paint. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I'm telling you guys, you guys are probably getting sick of me using this color. Dixieville just needs to make it because it is all I'm getting requests for right now. I do custom work, a lot of custom work. Most of my pieces are made to order for somebody. Um, every once in a while I get to play around and just make something that I want to. But I am doing like the next, I have one sitting across the room, which I'll take you guys to actually before we get off tonight. Um, and I have one completed and I have this order of a dresser and two nightstands all in the same color so hope you guys like it because it's super popular that's all right yeah it's just this rich uh. teal that leans to a green okay now i'm going to take a little bit of my midnight sky and i'm just using this to shade around the edges so i'm just going to get this laid on valerie says they need to name it after you i know they do i've been waiting for a color I mean, I've only been with Dixie Belle for like five years now. No so worries, what name do no we worries. use? Do we use the name I call you when I'm mad? Or do we use your oh, regular yeah, name? Yeah. Or no, what, I don't you think know. we can print that on labels. <laughs> okay, that fan might have to go. Because I'm not even <laughs> I just noticed how to work this paint. I'm just using a ton of water. All right. I mean, I want that fan going in the background. But it is drying my paint so fast, you guys, that I can't even work the paint without... So I just had Sean turn the fan off. So I'm gonna sweat bullets over here. All right, so I've got my basic color layout. I'm gonna pull this drawer out now because now I know where my blend is. I'm gonna pull this drawer out and do you see what I don't wanna have? I don't wanna have this frame around the drawer. <gasps> I know, it's atrocious. I feel like I need to have all these sound effects. Um, I wanna get up here underneath the lip of this piece and I'm just going to make the edges a little bit darker in this midnight sky, and then it's going to fade into, you'll see when I show you guys the uh, finished piece that I've got on the other side of the room. And I'm just brushing it right in to my teal mix. Well, I'm just going to call it teal mix. I don't know. I called it juniper at one time. Fireball juniper. <laughs> she chimed in with that earlier. <laughs> 
We need that color, right, June? Tina <laughs> says, I thought your color was antebellum. Uh, my color is, um, well, antebellum, man, see, see, uh, I worked hard for antebellum, too. I wanted that color for, like, two years before we got it, so custom colors are not easy to come by. It's oh, because, here's... It's because we have so many colors in the line, you guys, It's it becomes a big job to add more colors when we already have 69 colors. I kind of like the name Envy. It's been thrown oh, out there a couple pretty. of times. That's a good one. That's pretty. Um... Everybody's starting to put on their marketing hats. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's some there's some pretty cool new stuff coming. I know some some new stuff coming down the line, but does Let's not. see, it's it's cool. It's shocking. So it might not be this custom color, but there will be. You can name it Sean. Uh, I mean, we want it to sell though, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that 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 would. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing here, and I'm gonna get my basic colors figured out. And then I'm going to take these out and paint around this drawer frame. I'm only working this half right now. Where's my screwdriver? And yes, you are spraying water. Yes, it's just water. Just water from my tap. All right, I'm going to pull these guys out. I actually will probably, now that I kind of have an idea what my color layout looks like on the drawers, I will probably work on these outside of this frame. All right, I'm going to go low. Go low. Get low. And the reason is if I keep painting them in the frame on this style of dresser, I'm going to keep getting this line. So once I know my blending layout on them, I don't need to keep them inside this frame. I've got my basic pattern kind of mapped out on them. And I always paint just inside the frame as well and make it match. So in this case, I'm going to take my midnight sky and I'm just going to paint around the edge here. Really quick, just to go back to your custom color, what... What mixture is it? It is a mix of it's it's in the um, title of the post on Facebook, but it's um it's antebellum blue palmetto about 50-50, and then just tinted with a little bit of midnight sky to darken it. Ooh, Aaron's got a good name, Isle of Sean. <laughs> sounds like a crime ridden area. <laughs> yeah. I'd stay away from there. <laughs> Some shady characters over there. We just watched Shawshank Redemption the other night, so we're gonna for like the tenth time. <laughs> Great at least movie, by the way I, I mean that is a great movie that is one that even after you see it 10 times you can still sit through it time and again right am i right the three hours yeah yeah it was long i didn't <laughs> i didn't remember it being that long but what's funny we tried to watch it with our with our oldest son and he was like he was out i'm gonna go to bed this yeah is boring. <laughs> no no we'll stop it for you and you can watch it tomorrow yeah. no no, like, I'm, no good. I'm good all right, I'm gonna come down here onto the legs, but I'm not gonna get all the way down on the legs right now because I need to put this up on wheels so that I don't get little hairs from my carpet in my furniture finish. You guys don't always see me do inside the frame like this, but I always do inside my frame like this. It's gonna be blended to match the body, so when these drawers go in, it looks consistent with my furniture piece. Gotta have clean drawers. It is like a million degrees in here. I know. Can you turn that on but like face it a different direction? Just to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure you're okay. Here, I will be a shield it reflects off of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll... It's going to place your body <laughs> in the direct path. It will increase 20 degrees before it gets <laughs> to you. Yeah, I mean, you got to have something. It's warm in here. My, um... My workspace is connected. We could to be able to be heated with the or cooled with the air conditioning system, but it would cost like a million dollars because we live in California. What? Yeah, a million dollars. I remember that price tag. To, to be able to turn it on. No wonder it's not done. Well, we just got our solar hooked up, so I guess that's not the case anymore. All right, now I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna get this drawer over here. Oh, Tammy says every time she does that, her drawers don't fit. And painting oh, the inside and, and. Well, see, these are different drawers, and and the thing you want to look out for, I'll I'll show you guys in a second, but the thing you want to look out for is if your drawers have an inset on the sides. Let me show you what I mean. You guys see how the face of this comes out further than the actual drawer box? 
if your face of your drawer is flush with the box, then you've got to make sure you don't add too many layers. It will start rubbing. You will have to shave your drawers down. These um, sit inside the frame nicely. So, and then I've got a, a bit of an overlap. So these are not a tight squeeze inside this frame, but I know what you mean. It, I mean, that happens quite a bit. I like this story, Jill. That's pretty cool. Well, I would like to know this story. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> I'm totally just left in the dark She said her son met Morgan Freeman about a year ago. Oh, that's cool. And when Morgan Freeman opened the door for a uh, mutual friend, her son said, hello, Red. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's his name in the, yeah. the movie. Um, and he's amazingly talented. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm not sure I mixed this color with dried sage for the center. It's actually really green. And I don't think I want that. I'm going to pull out, um, I have this little container of vintage duck egg. I'm going to put this inside here and I'm going to use this vintage duck egg, which isn't going to be pure now. It's going to be a whole bunch of colors in vintage duck egg, but I'm going to use vintage duck egg because it's more blue. That mix with the dried sage in it is just too green. So I'm just going to stir in that little bit of paint. It's pretty close to vintage duck egg. Just too, too blue. So I don't know. I mix colors pretty freely, you guys. I, If I've got a little bit of something and a little bit of something else left in the container, I will throw them together and come up with combo number five. Are we making dinner? <laughs> combo number five. Who is that? Oh, man. I'm so what? lost. That was when I was in high school. Mama number five. Oh my gosh. Five. I know. The song? Seriously? I'm embarrassed right now. <laughs> no, no. Not nearly <laughs> as much as I am. Okay, so this is a little more blue. I just mixed it in with that little bit of vintage duck egg. That's what I needed. It was just too green. Not going to work. But that's also what this first coat is all about. It's all about figuring out my colors, my layout making sure I've got my mixes correct. And it's Mambo number five. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> we knew, I just didn't want to put yeah, too much Sean, attention on it. Sean was too embarrassed. He didn't want to, he, did, he wanted to pretend like he doesn't own that. Wait, what? That compact disc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About what? Wow. <laughs> okay. I got the 45. That's the record. Um... Uh, my first car, I was talking about to, this, to the kids about this the other day, has it had an 8-track player in it. Did it really? Yeah. It was pretty nice. That, that was me pretending to be shocked. <laughs> no way! No way, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, now I am blending inside the frame. Can you see okay or is this drawing away? No, I'm a little blind right now. <laughs> By the beauty of my piece. Yes. I get that a lot. Yeah. Sure you do. All right. Uh, this drawer is not going to work, so let's go ahead and finish this drawer out. It's got to come out. But let's get the paint on the other side of it, and then I can take it out, and then I can really work on this frame, and then I'll come back and start working around the drawers a little bit. This also has one of these pull-out tableies here, and I'm going to refinish the top of this, and just the front of it will be painted. So the top, I'll stain to match the um, body. I need to take the whole thing out of here. To be able to do that. Well, thank you, Hilda. She says she loves watching your videos. Oh, thank you. I that actually our, have... our uh, laughter is good for the soul. Oh, uh, it, it is. Well, and she's yeah. got this little thing, this little tidbit. It's almost almost forget about it it says as well as your magnificent artistry <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah that's just a no judging here. here yeah i'm hoping if i talk enough you guys won't notice that i really have no clue what i'm doing that's really what's going on here i have a new video coming out tomorrow on my youtube channel you guys every week every friday i put out a new start to finish tutorial you can see even the finished piece all put together um i think cindy it's just h2o just regular just water. Just water in my water bottle. I use a lot of water when I paint, you guys. A lot. Not so much that it's dripping wet, but I keep my paint moving until I'm done with it, and then I let it dry. I tell the paint when it can dry. Wow. The paint doesn't tell me. I tell the paint. Oh, 
Fireball June says she still has an 8-track player and some 8-tracks. Wow. I wouldn't even know how to use it. They're pretty easy. All you yeah. do is shove it shove in there. It. <laughs> shove it. Shove it. Shove it. Of course, the quality just isn't yeah. there. It's like the size of a VCR or a VHS tape. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of a lighter highlight just in the little corner of this drawer. And I'll do the same on the other one, too. Kind of just like that. I just brush it into my main color. So this is my basic layout. Now I can go ahead and pull this guy out. And then I can perfect this on the front of the drawer if I need to, because I've got the layout already decided. But see what I mean, this little lip around here? I can't leave this in the drawer or in the frame and paint it. Um, it's nice when they are flush with the front. And you don't have to worry about that. And you don't want to let that dry because then you'll end up with a ridge. So honestly, the frame ends up looking just as good as the outside of the piece does. I feel like I was going to come back and say something and I forgot what it was. Did I interrupt you rudely yet again? Uh, as usual. And it's typical. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So I have a video coming out on my YouTube channel tomorrow, which is a full start to finish tutorial. But I get a lot of people, it's kind of funny because some people really prefer the live videos and some people really prefer the edited videos. And so I feel like it's a little bit of something for everyone. I think the edited video or the live videos are, we go way more in depth, way more in depth. You, you can actually learn the technique and what, you know, the thought behind doing something on the live videos because they are so much more in depth. The edited videos, you're getting a shortened version, 15 minutes. What can I learn in 15 minutes? Um, so it's a little bit of something for everyone. Some people like just the entertainment value of watching the paint um, and the steps and seeing the finished product all in one video. Dana but, loves your Friday videos, your YouTubes. <laughs> and uh, she, since I'm mentioning her, she also mentioned she had an 8-track player in her first car with an AM radio. <laughs> AM only radio. The old push buttons. Okay, I'm going to leave this. Now, a couple things. I'm not going to do up to this top right now because I want to go ahead and stain my top and then I'll tape it off because my wood runs right up to where I'm going to have a painted portion. So I really need to tape this off or I'm going to, and I can't sand this wood down again. I cannot do it again. It is a very thin veneer. I will blow through it. Um, more modern pieces, the more modern your pieces, the thinner your veneer is going to be. These are probably from like the 1990s. They're not a very thick veneer. So I need to make- Oh, CB radio, sorry. Oh, I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, on these, I know that I don't have enough wood left to be able to sand through it again if I get paint on it. So I need to make sure that's protected. So that's what I'm doing there. And obviously I'll make the sides match, but we're just going to work on the front tonight. Okay. That's my frame. But do you guys see that I blend the full frame out too inside the drawers? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be enough that when that drawer is in there, you don't see any gaps of color that don't make sense. So let's come back to these drawers and I can kind of make out just from the pattern that's on here that this is my bottom drawer. So this is my first coat. I'm going to roughly lay my colors out on here. If they're not perfect, when I put this back in, I can just do a light blend over the front of the drawers. Now that my frame is all painted, I can just do a blend over the front of the drawers, but I'm gonna kind of assume my basic color layout with this drawer out of the frame. Oh man, we really touched on the, uh, the eight on the, tracks. On the <laughs> Someone in there has got their first car was a put, I don't know if you even know the, the push button transmissions. No. Oh man, it was like the Cadillac. Although and... um, I saw actually you commented on something that was the uh, high beams. That oh, you, the the that floor. You on the floor. Yeah, yeah, the button on the floor. Yeah. Well, I mean, also let me point out that I, you know, the the car that I'm talking about was was so old it should have been in the scrapyard by the time <laughs> that I got it. So it's not like it was new when this was all going on. No, I got my mom's car that she had bought when it was brand new and then drove all through my childhood. And Wasn't, then... <laughs> didn't the license plate say One Direction? <laughs> yeah. Because why? <laughs> At one point the transmission went out and it would only drive backwards. 
Uh, now, me and my girlfriends would push that car more times than I'd like to admit, but uh, it's good for character. It I, worked well downhill, going we have, backwards. We have a 13, our oldest son is 13 now, and I feel like he should have to drive kind of a junky car. Like, you should not get a brand new car for your first car. He thinks he's going to. Wait till I surprise him. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch this video. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I also like how Dana mentioned that her CB radio was smoky in the bandit style. Oh, yeah. That's oh, good stuff. We had um, Colin Jerry Reed. family friends who had an old Ford Bronco. Now that the new Ford Broncos are coming out, actually, it's kind of funny. They had an old Ford Bronco with a CB radio in it. As kids, we thought that was the coolest thing ever. But that was back when you could ride in like the bed of a truck with no seatbelt. What? Yeah. Okay, so this is my kind of basic layout on this drawer. I'm gonna put them back in as I go, so you can. We'll see. We'll see if I get lucky and they kind of line up. Uh, that's not on the glide. Kind of wonky all right but that's pretty all right now this one is going to go i'm going to have my lighter portion in the center so i'm going to go ahead and add that and the color you're using oh my gosh so many colors right yep. now <laughs> that's why i do it okay i've got a custom mix of um antebellum blue palmetto and midnight sky to darken it Okay, I'm using Midnight Sky just to shade that around the edges. And then in the center, I added a little bit of Vintage Duck Egg to it to um, make a lighter shade of it. So really, it's, what do I have? It's really only four colors. It sounds like a lot, but it's because I've got them mixed together in different combinations, but it's really only four colors. Oh, thank you, Kendra. She's throwing out a compliment. She says, so gorgeous. Oh, she might mean the piece. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they my can't, my they, bad. I work hard they, for this. They can't see you. They can't see you. <laughs> can't see that you've been working hard on your summer bod. I feel like you were trying to be mean. It's hard to go from, from dad COVID bod to summer bod. Not really. It's the same. It's, it's pretty close. <laughs> we are having friends over on 4th of July. What are you guys doing for 4th of July? Well, we're having friends over. Well, yeah, I didn't ask you. You know you're not supposed to answer, right? Are, oh. you, on, are you on your phone back there typing into the comment thread? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're having friends over for the 4th. We're going to barbecue and swim, and we can have fireworks where we are, and they've canceled, yes, all, Liz. They've canceled all the public shows. So, I mean... So now back to business. Yes. Uh, the sides of the piece, are you going to blend it or are you going to uh, go solid color? The sides of the piece will be blended. If we have time tonight, I'll turn this and go to the side. Cause, so what usually what I do is this is kind of my this is kind of my rough draft coat here, and then um, I'll let this dry overnight and I'll come back and my second coat is really where I'm going to clean this up and I'll show you guys. I have one that's actually finished in this color combination, sitting on the other side of my room right now. So you guys will kind of get a peek of what this dresser set is going to look like. Right now, I just want to cover up my um, primer. All right, let's see. I'm sitting at a weird angle to try to find the glides. So I'm just kind of guessing where this is all going to land so far. It's not too far off. That is not perfect. It doesn't need to be right now. Oh, that's right. Valerie, uh, it's Canada Day. What's Canada? Uh, can What's Canada Day? Canada, Canada. I don't know what Canada is. Oh, man. What is Canada, what is Canada Day in celebration of? Eh? Yeah, help me out there. <laughs> yes, you're so Canadian. <laughs> so we have to eat all the maple syrup we can today, watch some hockey. I'm sure that's what they're yeah. celebrating. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing the same thing here and I'm just going to put that little tiny highlight right on the corner of this drawer.
I'm gonna hold it with my leg. I um, am just brushing the colors right into each other. Yeah, it's like our 4th of July. Oh, okay, but, well, I guess I would need to read the history on that. Let's see how this guy looks. I am hitting this out of the park right now, guys. It's like a grand slam? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to brag, but so far my color placement, even for having the drawers out, is pretty... Like, you get an idea for where the colors are going to lie on the drawers, and then you you can just kind of fill it in yourself. And then once this is dry on my second coat, I will perfect it with the drawers in. And, and your first coat was Gray Boss? Gray Boss, yes. And that is because... Um, this was, these were a dark wood. I wasn't particularly worried about the nightstands bleeding so much as the dresser, which is a different wood. And I just wanted them to be on the same base. Um, since I'm making a set out of mismatched pieces, I'm going to do the whole process the same. So these, these in particular, they're not very old. Usually it's older pieces that are more likely to bleed. These are more modern. I think they're from probably the 1990s. They're well made. They're solid wood. Um, you can see I've got a solid wood drawer box. I've got dovetailed drawer sides. So even though they're not old, it's a well-made piece of furniture. What's that brush you got or had in your hand? Um, I am using right now my Dixie Belle Mini to lay the paint on. And then the oval medium is what I'm blending it out with. So all I'm doing with the oval medium is once I lay my paint on, I'm just coming back and sort of feathering it out to blend those colors together. I'm just using it as a dry brush. All right. So this is going to be my basic color layout. That's, that's more or less where we're going. I'm going to fix the center of this a little bit. Let me show you guys what I'm going to do with this. It's too contrasty. I'm having a hard time with this middle color. It's not the shade that I want it to be. This drawer is off the There we go. There you go. Okay. It's not the shade that I want it to be. I'm having a hard time with it. This is too blue still. So, I'm thinking... And go. And <laughs> go. I'm thinking whether I should keep this as a mix or whether I need to blend in a color on it. But yeah, so you, sorry to take you back, but your spray bottle is not like a normal squeeze from Home Depot spray bottle. No, these are the these are Mr. Bottles. So watch watch me spray this. Okay, are you watching? Well, you're about to throw it into the Everybody's fan. Are you ready for that? Yeah. It's okay. Feel really good actually. <laughs> okay, it lays the water out like a fine mist. Like if you were sitting underneath a mister system, you know, just a fine mist of water. It's like a little puff of water that it lays it's out. It's like being next to a waterfall. Yeah. Um, versus a spray bottle from the hardware store is going to lay out a much, much heavier. Like a hose. <laughs> no, I mean, you can put it on. You can put a, a hardware store. I got one. You want to grab me? Huh? From behind you, can you make it sure it's one that says water, not a vinegar or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> that would be fun. Whoopsie! <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so all I did is I painted a coat of my mix underneath, and now I'm just putting this blend back in, and that's just going to darken it. Okay. Real quick. Yeah. Let me get this. It was too stark of a contrast. I don't want it to be this like light blue in the middle. So I'm just brushing it right in. I'll see how this looks. Otherwise, I may need to put in like a beige in the center. I may need to tone it a little bit. To you need to tone it down. Yeah, exactly. That's... We'll see how this works. That's better. It's better. 
Okay, so I have a regular spray bottle here. I'm gonna put it even on the mist section, the little dial here. It's a, the water droplets are much larger. It kind of, this one kind of like spits a little bit too. <laughs> These are from Target. You got teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Um, it's a much, much bigger droplet of water that I'm getting out of here than what I'm getting out of the Mr. Bottle. So you can get these from Dixie Bell. These are available at the link that I put up above in Facebook um, or the link in my profile on Instagram. And you, it really, really, really makes all the difference in the world. I don't need to lay on that much water. I just am trying to keep my paint from drying. All right, I'm gonna rapid fast do this side and then we'll go see my other piece. Take a tour. Yeah, we'll go. We're gonna go mobile. I don't see Sheila or uh, Brittany. I here. haven't seen Sheila in a while. I I need to check in. I said that last week too, and I actually forgot to do it. But I haven't seen Sheila in a while either. Okay, so let me know if she's okay. So when you say tone it down, do you mean make it darker? No, it I, I mean um, probably add a little more warmth to the shade of it, which would be. Um, I don't know, something like a different, it needs a different shade to it. I'm looking at my colors, like a burlap, like a, I'll go a little bit brown with it so it's not so blue. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I'm seeing something in it that I need to figure out and I feel like I need to tone that color a little bit. I'm going to do here on the side what I just did on the front, which means I'm going to put a color of very thin coat of this. <laughs> Dina. <laughs> so she thought that Betty was MIA, and then, of course, that wasn't the case. So. Yeah. Betty's like, I'm right here. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. <laughs> Hello. You know, Dana's wondering if she's just chopped meat. <laughs> Not meat, liver. This, um, this piece has those little fake wormholes in it. Man, those were so popular in 1990s furniture. They all have those little fake wormholes. And so I've got to make sure I dig my brush in and fill those little wormholes. Okay, so do you see what I did? I put a base of my surrounding color down underneath. And then okay, when so I brush in this lighter shade, <clears throat> it's a, it makes the difference more slight. I think it makes it a little bit easier too. So I filled that whole section and now I'm just lightly brushing in some of this lighter shade. So it's not so contrasting, had too much contrast for me. So there's a couple tips in there you can do. You can either pre-mix your, your color, your lighter shade. You can... Oh, I just realized I'm probably getting all the... You can layer it so it's just a lighter shade over the top of your surrounding color. Those are different ways. To, they, they get the same outcome, but just a little bit different color comes out of it. All right. And then I'm going to come around the outside, and I'll work in a little bit of this midnight sky. She's been watching you paint for over a year, but this is the first time she's feels, turned it into a like live. I, feels like I've been painting for over a year tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sorry, Liz. You, you got the so wet sound. Much. It's the fan in the background. I know. It's not Sean being a mouth breather. It's the fan. It's super warm here, and the the air conditioner is actually louder. So you guys might be like, why don't you just air condition the space? It's actually louder. You guys would not be able to hear anything if the air conditioner was on out here. Um, it's a workshop, so it's, you know, we're not in like my house where I have, we would have actually nice air conditioning. All right, now I'm just taking my brush from my uh, mixed green color and I'm just brushing it right into that midnight sky. I'm going to add a little bit of paint, a little bit of water. I'm going to brush it right into that midnight sky. 
You keep making all these comments about me, me being a mouth breather. I'm gonna have to make <laughs> You're gonna have to crank tell, phone calls. <laughs> tell them the truth of who's really a mouth breather. <laughs> and just sit on the other end of the phone breathing. Same thing. I didn't add any paint this time. I just added a little bit of water. I'm gonna add some paint though. And I'm just brushing it right into the midnight sky. They're overlapping. And where they overlap is where they create that gradient. Move I'm doing it. You're fine. Yeah. It's fine right now. Yeah. <coughs> I actually need it. I, I'm sorry. That was just way too warm. I can't even function. All right. So that's basically what my sides are going to look like. This will be three matching pieces that are all the same look. And then, of course, I'll get some waxes, probably some glaze for the keyholes, some um, gold gilding wax. Um, all those details come out at the end, too. Of course, you'll have a video for these that'll show the full process. But that was kind of my process for, for getting a base down on these. Um, and then figuring out this little highlight in the center here, which I like a lot more than what I first had going. Are you going to throw a stencil or anything on this? Well, <clears throat> my customer actually has a transfer she wants to put on it. So I'm just doing the base for these. They will get a transfer eventually, um, but it won't be by me. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's the intent. They will have a transfer on them, but I'm doing the base for them. So that's pretty cool. You can really put... It's a, it's a base for about anything. So when you see them, they're going to just be a blended finish, which is beautiful on its own. It really doesn't need anything. Once I highlight all the molded details in here, I mean, this could be a finish on its own without even adding a transfer. So let's go let's go see some. Oh, come on now. You know, what are we doing? I don't have my wheelie stool either. I have uh, to get up, get up and walk across the room. It's a wheelie stool. I don't want anybody complaining that I'm trying to move two, two cameras. No room for whining. Let's go. Okay, so this over here is an example of this exact finish. The exact colors that I just used on camera are exactly what is on this piece here. So you can kind of see how it comes together in a finished look. So that's what I want to show you guys, how what that looks like. But the video that you're going to get tomorrow on my YouTube channel is going to be this guy right here which is this adorable little tea cart full of sunflowers, full of cheer. It's such a happy little piece. Um, this thing was a bear to work on. Every piece of it comes apart. This is the tray from the center and each piece of it was painted individually, has its own sunflowers on it. So this is the one you're getting a full tutorial on tomorrow on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see how we put this look together, um, make sure you go sub subscribe uh, Brush by Brandy on YouTube. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Um, and let's see, if you guys are interested in any of the products I used tonight, which was a total of four colors. Okay, I'm going to run through the colors with you guys again. But we used Midnight Sky, Palmetto, Antebellum Blue, and then Vintage Duck Egg. Those were my four colors. Now I mixed them, okay? So uh, you can see those mixes throughout the video. But... Um, but a total of four colors. You can use the link that I put above in the post um, to shop any of those colors. And you can make some beautiful mixes out of those, any different combination of them. Some of my favorite colors actually in that combination. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys have a great 4th of July. Happy weekend. Thanks for hanging out with us for another Thursday. I'll see you guys next week.